Hey guys, how are you? So today I wanted to share with you how I sleep trained my two-year-old. My son turned two in February and sleep training him has just been a whole nother struggle. So I will just backtrack to when I first started sleep training. So if you didn't know, I co-slept. I breastfed my son for his entire first year of life. Um, he was basically um, on demand feeding. I didn't really have a schedule. It was just whenever he ate, which was all the time. <laughs> So I started just sleeping with him in my bed because it was just easier. My son was super duper colicky and anytime I would set him down in his crib, he would just start screaming and being a first time mom and a single mom, I was just too, it was just too much. So I started putting him in bed with me. I know there's a lot of, you know, research and stuff. A lot of people hate co-sleeping. <laughs> a lot of people are pro co-sleeping. I'm pro co-sleeping. Um, if you're breastfeeding, it just makes stuff so much easier. Um, you Both you and your baby get so much more sleep, especially in the beginning. If you want to see my um, co-sleeping slash breastfeeding story, I will link that down below. But as my son started to get older, um, around nine months, I took him to his nine month checkup and the doctor was like, okay, yeah, this cannot be happening anymore. He needs to be sleeping in his own crib. Keep in mind, my son was waking up about every two hours to feed. So he was waking up up a lot but I would just roll over put my boob in his mouth and then go back to sleep when I went to his nine-month checkup his doctor was like you just have to throw him to the wolves like I know it's your first first kid but he needs to be sleep trained and he needs to be sleeping on his own so at this point he was starting to roll he was starting to sit up and stuff and I knew it just wasn't safe enough for him to still be sleeping in bed with me so I decided to start sleep training <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm holding my phone it's because I have notes in here so we're just gonna go to the first time I sleep trained him around nine months so my son has never had a crib I'm a pretty minimalistic first-time mom um, a lot of people go all out but um, to just keep it quite frank I didn't have a lot of money um, to just be spending you know for cribs are expensive so my son slept in a pack and play up until he got his new bed <laughs> um, so he's been sleeping in a pack and play and I got like the memory foam to go in it so it's not like you know he doesn't know the difference but he started sleeping in the pack and play and I just didn't like I didn't have a room I didn't have a nursery it was just kind of what it was he's just a baby you know he just needed somewhere to sleep so I started putting him in the guest room of my parents house where I was staying and the first night I set him down and here is the thing with me um, when I laid him down in bed I would make sure I nursed him a lot before he went to sleep usually he would fall asleep on the boob so I would lay down in the guest bed and then the pack and play was right there I had to have a sound machine I used the Dom sound machine literally his entire life I used the Dom sound machine and I would turn that on and I would lay him down I also really recommend the halo sleep sacks because they're approved for babies to sleep with because as you guys should know babies cannot sleep with blankets in their cribs at all um, so these halo sleep sacks look them up online you put them in and their arms can go out or you can swaddle them and put their arms next to them but it has a cutout for their neck so it can't go over their face so he slept in that I would put him in a sleep sack I would turn on the sound machine and then he had this little um, bug light up thing if I can find it I will insert it in here but he had this little like lullaby little um, um, what is it? It's like a cat. I don't Oh, It's a seahorse. It's a seahorse So he had this little light up lullaby seahorse and I would lay that next to him and my son was like a blankie baby I slept with my blankie until I had him and then he hijacked my blankie from me So I would put it but it was so thin and worn out by then like you could breathe through it Like there was no way it was gonna cover his face um, so I had set that in with him and the first night it was horrible. He wakes up so much as if he wanted to, you know, start nursing again and he was just screaming and screaming and my doctor gave me the advice to wait every minute for how many months he is. So first time you go in, you never pick them up. You just like calmly talk to them like, it's okay, baby. Everything will be okay. You're just going nine nine. Like I'm right here. It's okay and you'd have to walk out. So when you walk out, you have to start a timer <laughs> 
and each time you go back in if he doesn't go to sleep you add a minute he was nine months old at the time so I started at nine minutes once I walked out it went up to ten minutes once I walked out again it went up to eleven minutes and my son is an Aquarius he is so hard-headed so stubborn he was not getting it he was so pissed off at me like he was screaming blood curdling screaming at three o'clock in the morning just wailing and there was nothing I could do to soothe him literally nothing I could do so the first like week of sleep training is literally the worst like as a first-time mom especially if you guys are breastfeeding anytime my son cries when I was breastfeeding my boobs would just start pouring out milk all over the place so he's screaming my boobs are leaking like why aren't you feeding this baby he's screaming like it's just completely unnatural in my opinion our bodies don't just do that for no reason so since I was breastfeeding he digested the milk really really quickly so it wasn't really working out for us he did start sleeping longer stretches but um, I would end up going in there in the middle of the night and feeding him because my boobs would just be so full like he needed to nurse and I also didn't have a lot of money to get a nice breast pump so he was basically my only breast pump if he was sleeping long stretches my boobs would be hurting so bad like I just needed him to nurse I just realized I don't really need my phone <laughs> Um, so I would go in there and I would nurse him and I would end up falling asleep because I'm tired, right? So I'm nursing him. I would end up falling asleep. It just wasn't working. So, um, about a, he would wake up a couple times. He kind of got the hint and after a while he, you know, wasn't screaming when he went to bed. Now, ever since I sleep trained him, I just made it a very positive, um, environment for him. So he's never like been scared of bed. He's never had a fear. He's never like, I've, I've always, you know, comforted him so he's not afraid to go to bed so I would lay him down and he wouldn't make a sound around a year I started supplementing my breast milk and putting like a scoop of formula in it so that it would keep him full longer and as soon as I did that I swear you guys he slept 12 hours like 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. like completely fine sleeping like formula I was like okay so this is what formula fed babies are like right <laughs> Because every formula feeding mom is like, my kid sleeps all night since they were like two weeks old. And I'm over here like with a 10 month old waking up every two hours like. So yeah, formula fed. Um, just adding a scoop of formula in with your breast milk. So they're still getting your breast milk. But it's just, you know, enhanced a little bit with all whatever they put in formula to keep them full longer. So we started doing that and I swear he started sleeping 12 hours straight like, like that. So his sleep schedule was awesome. I would walk in, I would turn on his sound machine, turn on his little seahorse, give him his blankie, tell him I love him, lay him down, and he would just be good. He'd go right to sleep, wouldn't make a sound, wouldn't get out of bed, wouldn't do anything, right? So he did that from about a year until he hit his terrible twos. And I always thought, you know, the older they got, the easier they got. Yeah, no. Two was probably the worst. Well, I'm still in two. He's like two in three months, but <laughs> probably the worst because now they have an attitude. Now they have a mind of their own and my son doesn't care if he gets in trouble. I already know he's going to be a troublemaker. Like I'm already, I've already established this. He's going to be a troublemaker. He's going to be my troubled child. Like I already know. He does not care if he gets in trouble. He doesn't care if he goes in timeout. He doesn't care if he gets spanked. Yes, I do spank my son on his butt, on his diaper, but if I didn't, he would walk all over. He already walks all over me, but if I didn't on certain things, he would, it's just, he needs to be disciplined. He does not, he laughs when he gets like in trouble. Like he literally thinks it's funny. You tell him to go sit in timeout and he like tries to get out and like thinks it's like a game. Yeah, no. So. Once he hit two, he realized that he can climb out of his crib. So why should I stay in my crib when mom puts me down? And as soon as she walks away, I'm just going to leap over real quick and, you know, do whatever I want. No. So once he did that, I'm not going to lie, you guys, I caved because I was just like, okay, he's not sleeping. So I started going into his room and I would just stand there and be like, lay down, lay down, lay down. Keep in mind, my son was perfectly sleep trained. I would put him to bed and he wouldn't make a sound. He would go to sleep and wake up the next morning. So I'm like, okay, lay down. And he's laughing and rolling and sitting up and laughing at me, ha ha. And that just was not working, right? He kept climbing out. As soon as I would walk away, he would climb out. 
So I was like, okay, well maybe it's time for, you know, a big bed. So I had a guest room at the time and I was just like, okay, we'll just lay down in the bed with you. So we would lay down, right? And he would eventually fall asleep after like two hours sitting up, looking at me. I call this a two year sleep regression, like it's real. So if you have a two year old, just keep in mind that as soon as they turn two, they're not gonna wanna sleep anymore. Their 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. is gonna go out the window. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, go to bed like you know I'm laying there in bed with him so I'm basically co-sleeping until he falls asleep and then I get out and then I go to my room I'm a night owl so I don't go to bed till like 12 to 2 in the morning I don't know why that's just how I am I'm done fighting it that's just what I am I'm surprised I'm even filming like with daylight right now <laughs> I hate days like I enjoy nights so I would wait for him to fall asleep and then I you know sneak away and around right as soon as I would fall asleep around 12 to 2 he's up he's in my bed he comes into my room crying and I'm like oh, okay so I go back in there and I lay down with him again but keep in mind I just fell asleep so I'm tired so I lay down with him and I end up falling asleep so I'm basically co-sleeping again <laughs> So we did that for about a month and it was horrible because my son likes to sleep horizontal and do flip flops and likes to sleep on top of you and he's a really, really light sleeper. I don't know if I mentioned that before. He's a very light sleeper. So if I move, he's up, it's just no. Like if you even wake up at like six and your eyes even open, he's up. So that just was not working. So finally, once we moved into my apartment where I am now, um, set up the pack and play and actually Jake was the one that was like okay he started sleeping with us like the first week we moved in to this place he started sleeping with me and Jake and it just wasn't working we have a king-size bed but my son like you guys don't understand he's just too much when he sleeps so Jake's like okay I'm just gonna try to put him in the pack and play and we're just gonna see how it goes and I'm just over here like my son is not gonna sleep in that pack and play. He can climb out, he thinks it's funny, he thinks it's a joke, he doesn't care how many times he gets in trouble, like he's just gonna keep doing it. So I swear to you, Jake puts him down in the pack and play and he goes to sleep. I was like, of course when the guy does it, he goes to sleep, right? So then we started doing that and a couple nights go by and he's climbing out again, coming out, climbing out, and all I would do, this is what I would do. If you don't agree with spanking your kid, <laughs> this video is not for you. But if you have a little boy, sometimes they need to be spanked because they do not care. If I had a little girl, she'd be a little princess. She would never get in trouble, right? No, boys are just a whole nother thing. And he walks all over me because I'm his mom. Like, even other people will say, like, he's fine until you come around and then you come around and then he's whiny and he's clingy and he, you know, is just too much. So I would go and I'd put him in his pack and play and I'd say, okay, it's time to go night night. If you get out of bed, you're gonna get a spanking. And I'd clap my hands like this. You're gonna get a spanking if you get out of bed. So you know, he's all like, okay, yeah, whatever. That's an empty threat. So when I put him to bed, he got up. So I spanked his butt and I put him back in bed and I'm just like, if you get out of bed, you're going to get a spanking. And, you know, it took a couple times, but ever since then, kid goes right down to sleep when I put him to bed, doesn't make a sound, doesn't get out of bed, and yeah, so that's why I sleep trained a toddler, because he was not listening to me. So now we just moved in to his big boy bed. Um, he got a twin size bed, uh, doesn't have rails or anything. It's literally just a mattress with a Spider-Man blanket. And last night was the first night that we got him in there. And once he, he like helped Jake put up the bed and stuff, he loves like construction and stuff. So he helped Jake put up the bed and he was so excited for his Spider-Man bed. <laughs> So literally, I put him in bed and I'm like, okay, you're a big boy now, you gotta start sleeping in your bed. You know, you're not gonna have a crib, you can't climb out, like it's just you're sleeping in your bed. So last night he got up one time and I didn't spank him because it was his first night in his big boy bed. And of course, keep in mind, I did not spank my kid when he was a baby and I was sleep training him. I only started spanking him when he started getting out around two years old. <laughs> so trust me, I was not spanking my 10 month old if he got out of bed. I was just calmly soothing him. But toddlers, they don't care if you calmly soothe them. They will literally just be like, ah! So. Once he got out the first time, I just laid him back and I was like, this is your big boy bed. You have to stay in bed like a big boy. You have to go night-night. 
and I just laid him in there and I walked back out to the living room and I was just like holding my breath like okay he's gonna get up again and he never got up so last night was the first night and he slept in his bed all night long until this morning I am so happy I honestly think he's happy to be out of the crib and just happy to have a big boy bed because he like wants to be older than he is so Thumbs up for that. I got him to sleep in his big boy bed. No problems, no tears, no cries. My son is still not afraid to go to bed. I like to make um, bedtime, you know, a very like calming, you know, this is time to go to bed. I never threaten him with bed. That's another thing. Do not threaten your kids with bed. Don't be like, if you don't do this, then you're going to bed. If you, do, if you act like this, okay, you're going to bed. Like, don't threaten your kids with bed. Bedtime and their room should not be a threat. Um, the second you make bed like a consequence, the second you make bedtime a consequence or like a result of bad behavior, then they learn to hate going to bed and they learn to hate going to sleep and it's just, you know, a punishment. So you really want to make it like, okay, it's time to go night night, like make it like a fun, you know, calming, soothing time. Don't be like, if you don't do this, then you're going to bed type of thing because then kids end up hating bed. And when I was growing up, I had so much anxiety about going to bed when I was younger like I dreaded going to bed I would literally get so much anxiety when my mom would say okay bedtime in 15 minutes I'd be like like I used to tell me I'd be like is it weird that I hate when the sun goes down and I hate going to bed because I'm just like get scared so I never wanted that for my son so I've definitely tried everything to make bedtime and just his room and just our house in general feel safe to him some some place he feels secure so he's not afraid to go to bed or scared to go to sleep or anything so that's just my tips for sleep training that's my sleep training story if you guys have any questions leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video